What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC. And this is yet again one of those videos that I'm starting really late. My apologies. I didn't think this was going to work. I honestly, I carbon copied something that the KSP people retweeted today. Um, I can't, I can't find this kid's username. Someone built something, and the KSP people, KSP people were like, we should show the world this. And I saw it. And it was pretty neat. It was just a big asshole, heavy, big old SSTO, but it was just kind of the design that I really respected, because it's totally something I would do. And that is, is to, to basically just, you know, plot this array. I just realized I didn't even use this thing once. It was completely unnecessary. It could be, it doesn't have to be part of the design. So theoretically, we could take that off, put a fun rounded nose cone bit on the end, and then just sort of there, just there for looks. Good to know. I thought I was going to need it during uh, the initial takeoff, and then like I thought as we got up, you know, out of Atmo, that for sure at some point we would need um, a little a little kick because the engines were going to run out of air, and you'd need that little. But by the time we ran out of air, we had like a fifty thousand meter. Apoapsis already. So I was kind of like, do we really need it? Didn't. Just had to switch the rapiers to a closed cycle so they're using oxidizer and liquid fuel, and problem solved. The thing just started accelerating like crazy again once we were sort of out of the atmospheric area. It was just, it was just easy peasy. Easy peasy live and squeezy. What we need, obviously, is enough fuel to deorbit. I'm sure a thousand units is going to be enough. We did it in our in our little crafts. We've done it with you know three or four hundred. So we basically we only need periapsis to be just high enough that we're not going to get dragged back down. So maybe like I don't know, like sixty sixty five somewhere in there. I'm sure at fifty we'd be fine. I'm just overkill, right? So like yeah, let's go sixty one. We have a lot of fuel though. Let's just go a little higher. If we go higher, we can maintain fast forward, right? There seventy, perfect. So we can maintain a fast forward, we're going to zip around, and we're going to see if this thing lands. Because again, I didn't expect this thing to take off, so this is just, this is just a happy, happy bonus video for you. This is a DVD bonus footage. Extra bonus footage. I've never deorbited this thing. It's obviously quite heavier, so we're going to have to come in probably shallower. If we come in steep, all of this mass is just going to fuck our day up. But if we come in nice and shallow and we can sort of surf Atmo for as long as we need to to slow down to shut off some speed, could we just... We have 1,200 units. We could potentially just come in like right over top and just break like great... No, we'd still accelerate probably explode. I know what we're going to do, though. I know what we're going to do. We're going to sort of surf and come in over the top of Cape K. And if we can get the ass into the wind, I can use that main huge sail engine to potentially break us off quite a bit of speed. Like, if I'm worried about overheating, all we have to do is point that big rocket, and if it starts to overheat too much, burn it. <laughs> But that would mean shooting long. We want to shoot way past Cape K. It's going to be sketchy as fuck. Sketchy. Going to be sketchy. Going to be sketchy. Let's just maybe do that. I really need that mod that tells you where your, you know, actual post aerodynamic, you know, it kind of like almost like sends a little bit of math ahead and goes, eh, once you hit air, you're going to hit right about here. I need that thing so bad. Someone tell me what that is in the comments. If you know what that one is, you know, it has the orange line. I think uh, a lot of the KSP streamers use it. It gives you like an orange line that goes down where it's saying like, this is where you're going to start hitting air, and this is where you're going to hit, this is where you're actually going to hit the water if you don't touch anything kind of thing. That'd be really handy. All right, let's do this. I said, let's do this. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I could just do like this. Okay, what I want to do is probably do like that. Pop those to air breathing, so if I throttle up, nothing happens, right? Perfect. So I can hit spacebar and turn that one on. And all I have to remember to do is turn it off before we hit the ground. Gimbal limit. Yeah, I lowered that because I thought we're only going to need it at takeoff and we're going to have a lot of the air, the aerodynamic wing sections to really do a lot of that for us. I think we should be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Right? 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 What's the worst that could happen? You tell me. <laughs> you tell me, what's the worst that could happen? Let's just crash this fucker. Because undoubtedly that's what's going to happen. I don't think when this thing is empty that it's going to fly very well. These these panels, these body pieces are all like a lot of dead weight and without a lot of thrust. I don't think it's going to go very well. I really don't. All right, ass to the wind. I'm gonna have to do this in real time, I think. Ass to the wind at a bajillion miles an hour. It's working. It's twerking. This was a good idea. Okay, that is out. We're gonna go this way. I'm hoping to get into prograde. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Come on. Please settle the fuck down. <laughs> I wish I could cheat and just make it stop right now with the old fast forward. We gotta get the we gotta get the nose up, so to speak, which in this case is gonna be the roof. Gotta get the roof on fire. Oh, level out, you bitch. Level out, you giant son of a bitch. All right, we are slowing down a lot though. We're gonna lose that RCS port. I think the one in the middle is the actual crew. I think that's an RCS port. I think that's landing gear. We're slowing down a shit ton, but not enough. Nice. Okay, we're, we've just dipped below that speed register. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. It just, it's just, it can't make up its mind if it wants to explode or not. We're going to allow this. And roll over a little bit. Please, without exploding. Okay, this is this is good. I'm I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. We're gonna have to fly back to uh, Cape K. Cause we missed by like a lot. Unless, unless. This is not going to work. Brake, 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 brake. Loads of friction, but we're still pretty low on the heat register, so I can think I can afford to do this. I just don't have, like, I don't have the, the aerodynamics for this. I don't have the ailerons for this shit. All right. We're going to, we're going to abort. We're going to Hawaii. We're going to have a luau. It's going to be great. Everyone invited, of course. Any semblance of control, let's see. Let's see. I'm like hard on the pulling up, and it's not really. Maybe with a little bit. That's a little better, actually. The vectoring on all the various motors is fairly effective. 
turn brakes on early, just because... Might as well. I have no actual air... I should have put fucking air brakes on if I was smart at all. I would have done that. We have, like, a ton of fuel. We could easily get back to Cape K. But, for the sake of RP... We're definitely going to land here. Oh, Lord. Nope. I already regret... I already regret this choice. But we're going to stick with it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's craziness. Landing gear cannot be... Say what? Yes, I tricked it. Ha ha ha, you fucking nerd. Okay. Can we maintain level flight? Oh, that roll. Okay. I know what I gotta do. 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 Okay. I think that's gonna help a lot. I turned off most of the roll. I need, I need more of that roll off, though. <laughs> roll off. Roll off farms. Get it? No? No one? Just me, eh? Alright, never mind. Uh, so, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to do a go around. I haven't, uh, I didn't do the math very well. Turns out we're going 400 miles an hour. <laughs> Still doing like 300 miles an hour. All right, let's throttle up. We're just gonna do a big old cluster fuck whip around this way. This thing has so much give and go. Okay, let's throttle back like a lot. That was like super unnecessary. For the sake of vectoring, that was pretty awesome. Alright, this is gonna be sketchy as fuck! Nope. 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 I'm noping out. I'm noping out. We're Leslie noping the fuck out of here. Eh? Eh? Anyone? Eh? No? Just me? Alright, fuck me. It's doing 600 miles an hour already. This thing has a lot of give. Oh shit, we are... ...basically out of fuel. We're gonna need some for the landing. Let's get the landing gear up. Nope, I can't put the landing gear up. If I put the landing gear up, it's gonna be a bitch to get back down. See, I'm glad we got some height, at least. Because I can use, like, a little bit of fuel. In fact, I mean, what I really should do is, like... Uh, fuck me, this is going to be hard work. There it is. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. We're going to shut down all the engines. Because this will be a little more f fuel efficient. These are high altitude engines. I don't know if they consider um, 6,000 feet or whatever <laughs> to be high altitude, but at some point they become really efficient. I just don't know if this is the point. Here goes fuel. So it looks like we might have to make an ocean landing. <laughs> oh, RCS. I'm just pissing RCS. It's helping. It's helping. I think it's helping. I'm going to pretend it's helping anyways. I'm just hoosing it. Hose. Hose. Nope, we're doomed. Okay, so. So. Landing gear up. Uh, folks. Folks. Um... Put your hands in a cross position on the seat in front of you. Uh, put your ha put your head on your arms or on your hands, uh, and brace for impact. What do they say? Brace, brace, brace. When we hit the water, assist children and seniors first, and vacate in an orderly fashion. I don't want to touch down yet. We're going like 140 miles an hour. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. They, they Jacques Cousteau'd for a second there. 
They were, they were totally exploring under the sea. Well, we lost the intakes. I think the landing gear is still there. Wait, we lost the top intakes, but not the bottom intakes? Figure that one out. We lost two intakes. Pretty good. And the nose. Pretty good. All right, guys. This wasn't intended to be a video. Just a happy coincidence. So, until next time, peace, love, cheers.